Um, in this section for standard form, I'm going to show you some examples of questions that are related to prefixes and standard form. So the prefixes are the one that I mentioned on page one. Okay, so usually you shouldn't need to memorize, but of course it helps if you can memorize some of the basic uh, prefixes. Okay, so like for example, in example four, it, uh, in example four, we talk about a hydrogen atom. It has an atomic radius, so it's a very, very small atom. So the radius is very, very small. Okay, so if you look at the radius, how do you know that it's very small? Because it says that it's 53 picometers. So the short form for picometers is PM. And they actually gave you the dimension of one picometer. So one picometer is equivalent to 10 to the power of minus 12 meter. So you know, by now you should know that if the prefix is a negative number, that means the number is actually very, very small. Okay, so for uh, 53 picometers, so 53 picometers means that it will be 53 times 10 to the power minus 12 meters. Okay, so that means right, as simple as this, I will get 53. In fact, it's about changing the word. So most of the time, right, uh, my, my, the way I think will be, I replace the word. So I replace the pico with the prefix of 10 to the power of minus 12. So I replace and I'm left with meters. So the radius is 53 times 10 to the power of minus 12 meters. Okay, the question is asking you for the diameter and your job is to give it in meters and in standard form. Okay, so diameter is very simple. So diameter is I just need to multiply by two. That means right, I just use my radius and I just multiply by two. And because it's already in meter, so when I multiply by two, I will get a one zero six times ten to the power minus twelve. It will be already in meters. If your radius is in meter, of obviously your diameter is in uh, meters. Okay, now, then this is the part that you've got to change the standard form. So when you change your standard form, by now you should have formed the, your own way of changing it to standard form. So for me, I'm used to changing this number. So to me, I change a 106. 106 is equivalent to 1.06 times 10 squared. So finally, I will use indices on this part. So I'll get 1.06 times 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. So that will be my diameter. And it is in um, meter, it is in meters and it is in standard form. Okay, so let's say for example, if the question says that they will like the diameter in centimeter. So there will be one more process of changing. So if they, they want it to be a change in units, so instead of diameters in meters, they want it in centimeters. So you got to recall your conversion. You got to recall that every one meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. So in fact, if you would like to convert, if you would like to convert to centimeter, then you got to multiply by 100, then it will be converted to centimeter. So if you do that, that will become another indices because that will be 10 square. And it will be 1.06. Um, 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter. Okay, so be mindful of the units that they are asking you. Later on, there will be a practice question where there will be some changing in units. Uh, sometimes I will also be showing you exam questions. Okay, so that is the, this is example four, a very simple one. Mm, radius and the meter. 
Okay. So the next one right, is a very typical application. They like to talk about distance and they like to talk about speed and they like to talk about time. So in such a situation, this is the speed equal to distance time thing. So this is the speed equal to distance time thing. So you got to be very careful about the unit. Otherwise, all these questions are very, very confusing to you. So the mean distance, mean distance is just like the average distance. So you don't care about the mean. You just take the distance. So if you look at the distance, the, the distance is in billion. So if you refer back to page one, the prefix from billion is 10 to the power of 9. Am I right? Sometimes I also forgot. Uh, yeah, it's 10 to the power of 9. So I will change that prefix to 10 to the power of 9. So if I change this prefix, this uh, the word billion to 10 to the power of 9, that means right, the distance is in kilometer. Okay, the distance is in kilometer. And then we are given the, the, the speed of the light. The speed of the light is this amount of meters in per second. So in a way, the speed is 300. Change out the word million to 10 to the power of 6 meters per second. So the speed is in meters. And where else the actual distance given is in kilometer. So eventually I'm supposed to find the time in seconds. So I'm supposed to find the time in seconds for the light to travel. So the formula for time will be distance over speed. Okay, you got to make sure that the units match. But at the moment, the unit doesn't match because you are having kilometer where else the speed is in terms of meter. So it makes sense that you should change out your distance first. So if you change out your distance, you've got to recall, one kilometer is 1,000 meter, which is like 10 cube. So in order to change your kilometer to meter, you need to multiply by a 10 cube. So apply a little bit of your indices, you will get 10 to the power of 12 meters. So as, as long as the units is matching right now, okay, you can apply the formula. So I'm going to apply my formula. So what is the time taken? I will take the distance that is in meters and I'm going to divide by the speed that is in meter per second. So if I do the, the division here, so you can do a manual division. Okay, you can do a manual division. Okay, so let's try a manual division 2.877. Okay, you will get 9590. And because the unit is the same, you are getting it in seconds. So that will be the answer that you need. The question only need the time to be in seconds. They never say that the time needs to be in standard form. So if they do say that uh, the time that you have found needs to be in standard form, then you got to proceed to change this to 9.59 times 10 cube seconds. Only when the question says that the time is to be in a uh, standard form, then you need to do that. Okay, so when you're doing application questions, especially when you're dealing with speed distance time, you need to make sure that the units match. Otherwise, all this right, is very, very confusing because you're dealing with very huge number and the prefix is most probably going to confuse you. Okay, so that is also part of the application. Okay, another type of exam questions I like to bring your attention will be under practice question four, where there's a lot of uh, prefixes involved, prefixes and units involved. 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you some basic one. I'm gonna show you some uh, that are harder. Okay, so later on you will need to complete this um this uh whole practice question. Okay, so if you look at part A, okay, I would like uh to convert this zero point three five megameters to meters. So I need to change it to meters, and my answers got to be in standard form. So there is a change of units. So how do I change the units? Basically, the change of units involving prefixes, you just replace it. So mega, if you replace the word mega, mega is 10 to the power of 6. So go and replace the word with 10 to the power of 6, and you are left with meters. So you replace the word, you are left with meters because the word is already gone. So this word is 10 to the power of 6. Okay, then the next thing for you to check is, is it in standard form? So this one is not in standard form. So you got to change it to standard form. Okay, so I already do some mental changing. So you should get this in meters. So our approach to this kind of question will be you um you make the units match first, then you decide whether is it in standard form or not. Okay, in the and I show another example. Okay, another example, uh like 40 terabyte. Terra, if you check the prefix, it tends to the power of 12. So if you replace the word, then you are left with bytes. So when the units is what you want already, then you ask yourself, is it in a standard form format? If it's not, please do the necessary changing. You can do it in your head or you can do whatever working that you will need. Okay. So the tricky one is actually the last one. The tricky one is the last one here, where it is a kilogram, and I got to change kilogram to picograms. Okay, this is one type of exam question. So I got to change uh, pico, uh, kilograms to picograms. So how do I go about doing it? Okay, so you've got to take a careful look. So first of all, I proceed by changing out the prefix first. So this is 10 cube. If I change out the prefix, it will be 10 to the power of 3. Okay, so from here, 0 0.015 down 10 to the power of 3 is actually 15 grams. So how do I change the 15 grams to picogram? So if you will need to do such a change, you must remember the prefix for pico. Pico is 10 to the power minus 12. So how are you going to introduce in a prefix like this? So usually what I do is I introduce the prefix that I wanted. Okay, I introduce the prefix that I wanted. and I divide the prefix that I introduce in. So the, the units doesn't change. So I introduce in the prefix, I divide by the prefix. So essentially, if you look, both are canceled. But in a way, I need the prefix so that I can get to the units that if the question wants. So if you look carefully, this is the prefix for pico. Pico and this part becomes the picogram. And where else this part? You punch calculator. Okay. You punch calculator. Or if you don't punch calculator, right, it's 15 divided by 10 to the power minus 12. 
So 15 divided by 10 to the power minus 12, you will get 15 times 10 to the power of 12. 15 times 10 to the power of 12. Okay, let me write properly. So this part, you will get 15 times 10 to the power of 12. So eventually you got to the pico picogram. So make sure this one is in standard form. So you gotta do very step by step. So you realize I uh, get rid of the first prefix. I get rid of the first prefix. And then I introduced in the prefix that I wanted. As you introduced in, you got to balance it out by a divide. So in a way, you are free to introduce a lot of things. You are free to introduce any uh, prefix that you want, as long as you remember to balance it off. Okay, so I'm going to show you another example. Okay, I'm going to show you another example. So let me change out this question. So maybe I change it. Okay, instead of um, meters, right, I wanted it to be nanometers. So 23.6 micrometers, okay, I would like to change it to nanometers. So like I mentioned, what is your first step? The first step is you replace the first prefix. So the first prefix is 10 to the power of minus six. So after the first prefix is replaced, you are left with meters. We are interested in nanometers. Nano is 10 to the power of minus nine. So like I mentioned just now, you get rid of the first prefix. You introduce the one that you like but you balance it off. Okay, without changing the units. So I introduce a prefix that I would like and I balance it off. Okay, so from here, from here, this and this will become the peak, uh, will become the nanometer. 10 to the power of minus 9 becomes the nanometer. And this whole chunk, you can do a little bit of indices. So it will be 10 to the power of minus 6, minus, minus 9. So, okay, I'm running out of space. So 23.6 times 10 to the power of 3 nanometers. After you get the units that you want, you got to do, do a double check. If this is not in standard form, please change it to standard form. So in exam, right, will they ask for such things? Kind of, they will ask. There will always be some twisting about units. So if you, whatever units that you like, you can introduce and balance, but you need to get rid of the first prefix. So the big picture will be, okay, if there's any first prefix that you need to get rid of, you get rid. If there's no prefix that you need to get rid of, right, you introduce the one that you want. Okay, so like another, maybe we, oh, uh, Okay, so for example, in um okay, so maybe I give you one more example. Mm, okay, I scribble somewhere here. So if let's say I will I give you like 20 grams and I would like to change a 20 grams to nanograms. So I like to change the 20 grams to nanograms. So nano is 10 to the power minus 9. 
So you introduce the 10 to the power minus 9 and you divide by the 10 to the power minus 9. So it's something like you insert the prefix that you want. Then this will become the nanogram. And this is like a divide. So divide will be 20. So 20 divided by this, that will be 20 times this. And if it's actually not in standard form, please change it to standard form. And that will be the nanograms that will the question one. Mm, it can be any prefix. So you introduce and balance it off. So that is a general big idea. Okay, so it's one of the things that happened during test for this topic. So look through the application. This one is a bit more confusing. If you're not clear, if you're not step by step, you'll find all these questions very, very confusing.